the best secret weapon. Who are you backing? Natural Born Hunters starts Monday at 8, new to the CBBC channel. to the very last minute means you'll pick up maximum points and that's something you want to do if you want to avoid ending up in the goo portal because it's a game show we need lots of questions and we're in luck our computer is chock-a-block full of them he's the total intelligence mechanism or as I like to call him Tim Tim how are you doing I think I've got a virus my airlock override switches could malfunction and you could all be sucked into outer space. No, no, reboot! Reboot! Rebooting. I hope that fixes it. Are you back, Tim? Where did you get that suit? Oh, yeah, he's back to normal. Now, because in this game, seconds add up to points, the person with the most points after three rounds will be joining me for our final game, Wait a Minute. So, you know what's happening. Let's see who's playing today. Edinburgh. And our first player is Amy. Hello, Amy. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. I understand that you fancy yourself as a bit of an actress. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. You were a bit of a swimmer? Yeah. Do you think that might come in handy if you end up in the goo portal? No. <laughs> no? On the show today, mm -hmm. who do you think is your biggest competition? Matthew. Matthew? <laughs> He's quite clever. He knows quite a lot of people and like places and stuff. All right, well, nice to meet you, Amy. Good luck. <laughs> Our second contestant is Ross. Hey, Ross. Yo, Pete. Oh, yo. Yo, oh, yeah. oh, oh yes, I like that. Um, you write stories, is that right, Ross? Yes, I enjoy doing a bit of writing. I'd also like to be an actor. Oh, OK. So you're a very creative person here, Ross. Yes, <laughs> very much so. And uh, Amy said that Matthew was going to be her biggest competition today. What do you think about that? Yeah, Matthew's really clever, yep. It's terrific to meet you. Best of luck on the show today. Thank you. All right, cool. Let's uh, meet our third contestant. This is Callie. Hi, Callie. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good, good. <laughs> what do you think of our brain-infested goo portal? I quite like it, um, and I'm looking forward to going in it, because I know I will, but I'd rather see you in it. <laughs> Ross told me that, uh, that he thinks Matthew is the big competition yeah. today. OK. So what do you think about that? Yeah, I think he is. Matthew's got a lot to uh, live up to here. No pressure. Let's go and meet him. Matthew, our fourth and final contestant. Everyone's got a very high opinion of you. Apparently, you're the brains. Lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're a bit of a footballer, aren't you, Matthew? You into football? Just a little bit. Just a little... Are you football crazy? Basically, yeah. All right, well, it's lovely to meet you all. I wish you all the best of luck. Let's get cracking. This is round number one. It's called Wait For It. Now, every question has a series of clues that are 15 seconds long. The question starts at the same time the clock begins counting from zero to 15 seconds. Now, you can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. So, for example, if you buzz in at seven seconds, you get the question right, you get yourself seven points. If you get it wrong, everyone else gets seven points. There are ten questions in this round, and you've each got three lives, so you have to use them wisely. OK, remember, Listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. OK, players, this is round one, question one. Listen carefully. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a type of bird. I'm known for having beautiful plumage, especially the males. The body of the male is blue and famously has a large fan tail, which are put on display to attract females. 
Be careful. If you're very proud, you might be compared to me. Ooh, out of time there. No one buzzed in. The answer to that question was peacock. Let's go to question number two, Tim. I can be a fruit and a good source of vitamin C. If you like marmalade on your toast, you probably like me. I'm round and brightly coloured. I grow on trees, particularly in hot countries. I'm twinned with lemons in a famous nursery rhyme. Callie. Is it orange? Orange. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> you stop the clock at 12 seconds, which means you get 12 points. Next question, Tim, please. I'm a scary fictional character. I only come out at night. I'm said to like drinking blood, but I'm not keen on garlic. Ooh, Callie in again there. Is it a vampire bat? Callie, I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. <sighs> the answer we wanted was just vampire. Oh. Unfortunately, everyone else gets seven points. Question three. Let's have it, Tim. You may find me in your garden, but I'm not a plant. I'm a living creature. I help to improve the quality of your soil, which is where I live. My name is... Aud <clears throat> Matthew. An earthworm. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> Stopped at 10 seconds. You've got yourself 10 points there off the mark, Matthew. Good work. OK, question number five. I'm a mammal from Africa. Because of my distinctive markings, my name has been given to a type of road crossing. I'm related to... <coughs> Ross in first. Zebra. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> oh, a little victory boogie. OK, question number six. I was born in 1901. I made many animated films, including Cinderella and Fantasia. Ross. Walt Disney. Walt Disney's the correct answer. Well played. You got yourself seven points. Not bad. OK. Question seven, please. You might get one of these when you go to the dentist, although it's not something you want to have. I used to be made from a mixture of mercury and... Filling. Matthew and... Sorry. Filling. Filling is the correct answer. Well played, Matthew. OK. The, uh, the next question is question eight. I'm an item of clothing. You might wear me as part of your school uniform. Your dad might wear one of these to work, especially if he works in an office and has to wear a suit and shirt. Amy. Trousers. Again? Black trousers. Trousers is good, but it's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Everyone else gets nine points. The answer we were looking for was tie. Question number nine, please, Tim. I'm a vegetable. I have green, red and white varieties. I'm often eaten with a roast dinner on a Sunday. Matthew. Pepper. It's the wrong answer, Matthew. Sorry, that you've frozen out of the remainder of the game. The answer we were looking for was cabbage. Everyone else gets eight points. There's only one question left. The last one of this round is question number ten. So let's hear it, Tim. I'm the hero in one of the world's most popular books. My uncle gives me something precious to look after, and I have to take it to a volcano to see it destroyed. I set out with eight friends, including my very best friend, Samwise Gamgee, or Sam in short. Oh, out of time there. And Callie, you were just about to buzz in, weren't you? Yeah. Did you know what the answer was? Frodo. Frodo in. was correct. That was the answer we were looking for. No one gets a point on that final question, so that's it. The end of round number one. Who's done enough to survive? There's only one way to find out. Players, if you could leave your pods and enter the drop zone. The first person, definitely safe, and going through to round number two is... Ross. Well done, Ross. <laughs> Very pleased with himself. The second person safe is Matthew. Well done, Matthew. OK, leaving the drop zone and going into the goo portal is... Amy! That was a bit close, out on the drop zone. Mm.
<laughs> it was a bit bouncy, was it? The board kept sort of moving up and down. Oh, but that didn't help with your nerves. Eh, hey, it was OK. All right, well, this is round number two. It's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but we've got the same scoring system. I'm going to give you a category and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you think you'll need to answer a question correctly from that category. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue. If you get it right, you'll get yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll continue to play the clues and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. So, if we're all ready, let's wait for it. All right. The first category is objects. Let's start the clock, Tim, please. Everyone watching one another, which is good. Keep an eye on the clock as well. Ooh, Callie buzzed in first. Uh, you stopped the clock at 11 seconds, Callie, so you're going to hear 11 seconds worth of clues. Let's play them, Tim. I'm something you'll find in most shops. In supermarkets, there's very often a whole line of me. I often have a conveyor belt and a person operating a till here. I make a blip sound. That's 11 seconds worth, Callie. Is it enough? Do you know the answer? Mm, no. All right. That means we continue to play the clues, give the guys a chance to swipe some points. So let's play the rest of them, please, Tim. When an item is... Ooh, Matthew in first. Check out. Check out. That's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> 12 seconds. So Matthew gets himself 12 points. Category number two is sport and games. Let's uh, start the clock, Tim. Everyone looking at one another. <coughs> oh, Ross in first. Six seconds, OK. Let's hope it's enough. Let's hear the clues, Tim. I'm something millions of people use. I'm used outdoors, near water, perhaps on a river. Ooh, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. But is it enough? Ross, do you know the answer? Um, is it a ball? It's not, I'm afraid, Ross. That means we continue to play the clues and give our contestants over here a chance to grab some points. So let's play the rest of the clues, please, Tim. The bank, or when sat in a boat. You would use me with a line and reel. Oh, that was so close. What's the answer, Matthew? Fishing rod. Fishing rod is correct. Well played. <laughs> the next category is fictional characters. Start the clock, please. <coughs> oh, Ross. Seven seconds. Seven seconds worth of clue. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a famous cartoon character. My middle name is Fontelroy, and I'm usually seen wearing a sailor's shirt, a cap and a bow tie, but I'm seldom seen wearing... Not a lot again, Ross, but do you think you know the answer? Is it Popeye? It's such a good guess, but it's the wrong answer. It's the wrong answer, Ross. All right, let's play the rest of the clue for these two, please. Wearing trousers. My speaking voice is very funny. I have a rich and selfish uncle called Scrooge McDuck, and I also have three nephews called Huey, Dewey and Louie. Oh, <laughs> just out of time there, and I think they both knew the answer. Did you know the answer, Kelly? I can't remember his name. Did you, you know it, don't you, Matthew? Donald Duck. Donald Duck was the right answer, yeah. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. The next category is the big wide world. Let's start the clock, Tim. <coughs> Ooh, Matthew just in first. Stop the clock at nine seconds. Let's hear those clues. I'm very, very tall. I'm made of iron. I'm named after the man who designed me. More than 200 million people have visited me in the last 100... It's not a lot, but what do you think the answer is, Matthew? Eiffel Tower. Ooh, was that a guess? I'm afraid, um... That's the right answer, well played! <laughs> Matthew, that was your last life, so you're frozen out of the, the rest of the game. We've got uh, two more questions. This is question number five. The category is general knowledge. Start the clock, Tim. <coughs> Ooh, that was good watching of one another then. But Ross was just in first. Eight seconds, let's hear the clues. I'm somewhere you might work and also live. You'll sometimes find animals here, such as cows, sheep and chickens. 
I often have special buildings, such as... That's it, Ross. Do you know the answer? Is it a farm? Farm's the right answer! Well played! Yeah. Well yeah. played! <laughs> I love those moves. That's great. Thank you. That was your last life, Ross. OK. So, have you done enough to make it through to the next round? We've got one more question to ask, and there's only one person that can answer. So, Callie, you've got this one all to yourself. The category, Callie, is places. It's places. Let's start the clock, Tim. Keep it behind the clock. Oh, in at 13 seconds. Let's hear those clues, Tim. I'm a building you might go to when you're not feeling well or if you've had an accident. I have lots of wards and equipment like x-ray machines and operating theatres. There are lots of doctors and nurses working here who will look after you and help you get better. TV shows like Holby City and... Well, I know the boys look like they know the answer, but the question is, do you know the answer, Kelly? Hospital. Hospital? It's correct! Well played! <laughs> Got yourself a good score there, Callie. 13 points. So that brings us to the end of round number two. Who waited the longest? Who picked up the most points? Let's find out now. Players, leave your pods and enter the drop zone. Very good. All right. The first person safe going through to the next round is... Matthew! Well done, Matthew. Well played. All right. I can reveal that the person leaving us is... Ross! Put your spectacles in there for me, please. Good man. You've been great, Ross. We'll see you later. So, Callie, another close call. Yeah. Did it feel close out there? Yeah, cos I, I was sure I was going in the garden. <laughs> All right. This is round number three, Callie. It's called Wait and See. Now, it's our head-to-head -head round, and it tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. I give you a question category, and you have to decide how long your opponent needs to answer the question. Now, you've got three possible time slots. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and eleven to fifteen seconds. Of course, your opponent won't be able to see your prediction. The points don't match the clock this time. It's the best of five. If your prediction is right and the person answers correctly within your time slot, you get the point. If they answer correctly outside of your time slot, they get the point. So, you both know the rules. You've seen the possible times. Now it's time to wait and see if you can make the right prediction. So, the person who waited the longest out of the first two rounds was Matthew. So, Matthew, you decide whether you want to predict first or answer first. Predict. Predict, OK. The first category is fictional characters. Let's just have a little chat with Callie. Callie, do you, uh, do you read books, watch movies, uh, TV? Yeah, I read a lot of books and watch a lot of TV and movies. OK. Got a good general knowledge of fictional characters. Yeah. Good work. OK. It's your turn to make a prediction. OK. Let's play the clues, Tim. I'm a fictional detective created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I'm famous for wearing a deerstalker hat, playing a violin and saying, It's elementary, my dear Watson. I lived at 221B Baker Street in London and solved crimes like the Hand of the Baskervilles. Ran out of time there. Did you not know the answer, Callie? The answer was Sherlock Holmes. Because the time ran out, that means nobody gets the point. Not to worry, though. It was only the first question. Let's go with question two. The category is places. Matthew, have you travelled a lot? I travel... Some would say often, but I'm not sure how I'll be at this. OK. Callie? 
Well, when we were learning about like where places were, he was very good, so he is bluffing. Oh, very astute, very shrewd. I like that, Kelly. That's good. All right, are you ready to make your prediction? Mm -hmm. All right, you press the button. OK, let's have the clues, Tim. I'm usually a building with lots of different rooms. Some of the jobs people do here are chambermaid and porter. Famous examples of me include the Ritz and the Savoy. People often pay to come and stay in me when work. <coughs> oh, busting at 12 seconds. What's the answer? Hotel. Hotel is correct. Let's look at the prediction. Oh, Callie, you predicted he'd come in between 6 and 10. He came in at 12 with the correct answer, which means Matthew wins the point. Well played, Matthew. <laughs> Good work. Well, the third category is objects. It's Matthew's turn to predict. Is there anything you want to say to Matthew? Really, it depends what the object is and if the description's very good. You've heard that, Matthew. <laughs> Callie, here come your clues. Listen closely. I'm something that you might use in a garden or on a building site. I usually have one wheel and two handles. I'm... <coughs> Kelly, what's your answer? Wheelbarrow. It's right. Well played. Let's look at the prediction. Oh, 11 to 15, Matthew predicted. You came in out of that time, which means you get the point, Kelly. Well played. Good stuff. The next category is general knowledge, and it is Kelly's turn to predict. Matthew, do you have a good, broad general knowledge? Um, quite broad over my general knowledge. OK. But, uh, a few things. Not so great on. All right, Kelly, is he bluffing? You decide. Make your prediction. OK. Listen closely to your clues. I'm an object found in the bathroom. I'm used to get rid of plaque so your teeth don't rot or fall out. I consist of tightly packed rows of bristles arranged on a plastic handle. I should be used at least twice a day to make sure you're... In at 13 seconds, what's your answer? Toothbrush. Toothbrush is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Callie, you predicted that Matthew would come in between six and ten seconds. He came in at 13, which means Matthew gets the point. <laughs> Ooh, this is a close one. So this is question number five, Callie. The category is numbers. Callie, how are you on maths? I'm not very good at doing it mentally, but I'm quite good if I can see it. Matthew, you ready to make your prediction? Yep. Let's start the clues, Tim. I'm an amount. If two people shared a pizza equally, they'd both get this share. As a percentage, I'm represented as 50%. As a fraction, I'm represented as 1 over 2. When you play foot... <coughs> Callie in at 12 seconds. What's the answer? Half. Half is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh! Matthew predicted you'd come in between 6 and 10 seconds. You came in with the correct answer at 12 seconds. Which means, Callie, you get the point. So that's two points each. All five questions have been asked, so we now must go to sudden death. The next person to get the point will be going through to our final game. The category is pop music, and Callie, it's your turn to predict. You into music, Matthew? I like listening to music, but I'm not the musical type of person. OK, Callie, is that enough? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Press that button. Let's hear the clues. I'm a female singer who got to number one with my first single, Smile. I also released a single with the lyrics, Why oh why would I want to be anywhere else? Which was about my hometown, London. My dad, Keith, is a famous comic actor. Out of time there. The answer we were looking for was Lily Allen. Nobody gets that point, so we're going to go to our second tie-break question. The next category is the natural world. Natural world, Kelly? It really depends on what the question is again. Remember this point for the round, and the winning person will be coming through to the final. Just press the button. OK, there it is. Here come the clues, Kelly. Remember, when you think you know the answer, buzz in. All right. I live in the sea. I can get very big. In fact, the biggest mammal on the planet is one of me. I can be blue, humpback and minky. I have a hole on my back which I use to breathe and to shoot out jets of water. According to the bu... Ooh, in at 12 seconds, what's the answer? Whale. Whale is correct. Let's see the prediction. 
Matthew predicted you'd come in between 11 and 15 seconds. You did. So Matthew gets the all-important final point. Well played, Matthew. Well done. If Matthew is going through to the final, that means we have to say goodbye to you, Kelly. I know it's such a shame. If you could leave your play pod and please enter the drop zone. All right, Kelly. Well, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. Here we go. We're bye to her, guys. We're bye-bye. Saying you're cool as a cucumber. Oh. Are you nervous on the inside? A lot. A lot. Well, you've certainly delivered. You're here at the final. It all comes down to this. In a moment, you're going to hear a series of questions. Now, they're each 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way all across the goo portal. I'm going to do it now. Oh. Oh. Yes! Well, best of luck. I hope you do it. Are you ready? Yep. All right, Tim, let's begin. I'm a yellow dog in a series of children's books. Apparently, leopards can't change theirs. Teenagers often have me on their faces. Sometimes they even squeeze me. I begin with the letter S. Pass. Next question. I'm a reptile. I often come to mind when you think of the swamps in Florida. I'm like a crocodile, crocodile. but I have a shorter. Oh. Wrong answer. You might encounter us when playing a board game. If you get two of us rolling along and you score 12, you've made the maximum. Our values are indicated by the number of dots on our faces. Ah, next question. I'm a part of the human body. You don't usually see me during the day, but I'm very important as I help you balance when you're walking. You have 10 of me, five on each of your feet. Toes. Correct, move forward. I'm a tool used for lots of different jobs, but I always do the same thing. I make holes. The biggest can be used to search for gas and oil under the sea. Smaller ones can be used by a dentist Trails. on your teeth. Correct, move forward. I'm a brass musical instrument. I'm smaller than a trombone, but larger than a cornet. I'm a popular instrument in jazz music. Trumpet. I... Correct, move forward. I'm a wildflower and a girl's name. I can come in many colours, but most Rush. people think of me as being... Oh, I... oh. That's the klaxon. We know what that means, audience. Help me out. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> Matthew, give us a thumbs up. Fantastic. Matthew, you're not going to go home empty-handed. You get to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. So well played. Matthew, everyone. <laughs> Another good one. Join us next time on Wait For It. Love to have a bath in the gunge. Well, you'd have to have a bath right after it. I love dancing in the gunge. Awesome. We all got guns! Yeah! What are sweets really made of? Oh! Can lunch be art? Do you eat with your ears? Headphones on. Sound can make food taste more intense. <laughs> and would you chow down on the king's fave sarnie? <laughs> Gastronauts, today at 4.35, CBBC on BBC One. Welcome back to the CBBC office. Oh, fever. Oh, air. Yes, today, me and Dr. Hacker yeah. are conducting an experiment. Oh. We do it every Friday. Today's experiment is the effects of homework during the holidays upon your face. Yeah. Right on your face here. So, we're going to take some pictures, send them in, and they'll go upon the Lab Lab board. Are you oh. going to be a Smarty Pants? Oh. Are you going to be Luke Smith from the Sarah Jane Adventures? Textbook? Jedward? 
from CBBC Office yesterday uh, or D minus. Oh. We don't know. So you guys at home have been conducting your own experiments. Let's have a look. The first picture was sent in by Dr. Bethany. Yeah. That's Dr. Bethany looking at her textbook there. What do oh, you think? here, look. Here. What? I think she is textbook. She is textbook. Got a little quick quizzical face on her there, Bethany. So you go, Bethany. Dr. Bethany there. Uh, coming up next, we've got Dr. Eleanor. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah, look, look at her. Dr. Eleanor looking upon her textbooks. Here. Yeah. What? What is she saying? I think she's saying, ooh, like that. But why would you say, ooh? Why would you say, ooh, Eleanor? Why would you say that? But why ooh. would you say, ooh? Yeah, Eleanor. So I think you're going to go in the sort of, between Luke Smith and textbook. Yeah. In the, Ooh, Ooh, section of the board. Weird you said that, Ella. Finally, we've got one here from Dr. Jack. Yeah. Look at, he's menacing, isn't he? Dr. Oh, he, Jack. He's destroying the onward. He is. He? He's kind of like Jedward yesterday, isn't he? Yeah. Kind of like that. Put him down here. Well, Dr. Jack, you join Jedward in the Jedward section. There you're there. So, if you want to get your face on the telly, pick up some homework. Take a picture of making a funny face and send it to this address, cbbc at bbc.co.uk. And we will see you right after Bear Behaving Badly. With Neville. With Neville. Yeah. <laughs> Fact.